hello welcome to natural skincare screen in this video uh, this highly requested video I'm going to show you how to uh, use okay and maintain your pH meter um, I recommended this meter to everyone on this channel because this is the meter I use basically when you hold it it's going to come in this uh, it's going to come in this box in the box you will have a uh, different buffer solutions okay buffer solutions are solution that you use for calibration so the buffer solution that comes with this uh hana ph meter is the seven okay the buffer solution for 7.01 and the buffer solution for four okay for ph4 and the buffer solution for ph7 and also what comes with it is the then the general cleaning solution so these are the three solution that comes with it now how do you how do you so the first thing i'm going to show you is how to use your ph meter the first uh the way to use the ph meter to uh, to check ph of your solution is basically you know you turn on the ph meter i linked in this video how to use your ph meter to check the pH so you basically turn it on okay and you dip it in your you remove the cover okay so you turn it on you remove the cover and you dip it in make sure you turn it on then you dip it in your solution okay that's how you use it then you just check the reading there's going to be these uh this guy here i don't i don't know if you can see it it's going to is an indicator that will show that it's working and once that indicator goes off just like you see it you can take your reading so that's how you use it too so look in the description box below for how to use an ph meter to check the ph of your uh, product now if you want your ph meter to last you have to calibrate it is the most important step in maintaining this this ph meter that i got uh, i think a couple of months ago i've been using it non-stop every day so but how do you make it last you have to maintain it the first thing you want to do is at least try and calibrate every week a uh, professional I mean, big farm they calibrate before they start any production so i recommend the better the more you calibrate the, the more ha the accurate it is so if you can calibrate it every day especially if you sell skincare product if you can calibrate it every day before you start your formulation that is the best way to get accurate reading so now how do you calibrate it basically you you have two solutions to cal calibrate it in so to calibrate it i'm going to i'm going to show you how i calibrate mine okay so basically you have the bu the two buffer solutions okay have i i have this that i bought from the store it just makes it easy for me i pour my buffer solution in it the 4.0 and the 7.0 so what you do is uh, i open i open the two get it set anytime i want to calibrate you have to be careful so you don't lose it the buffer solution is a, is a bit expensive okay so you have both ready to go anytime you want to calibrate let's just put this here perfect now to calibrate open your ph meter um i have this top rubber stopper that i use to clean the tip so if you want to clean the tip, you take this rubber stopper. I have a link in the description for a box below for where you can get your own. So just run it through here, the tip to the head. Just watch how it doesn't touch, so it doesn't touch the bob because it can break it. So just use the rubber stopper too. So once that is okay, you turn it on. So when you see here, when you see the reading press it and hold then this is going to come up i press it too much so that's a, so let's go here when you see the readings press it 
and hold it. So you go, when you see the car, it's going to tell you put it in the 7.01. Put it in the 7.01 and wait for the readings. Make sure you put the hot prior like I'm putting it now into whatever pH uh, range is telling you to put in. It's telling me to put in the 7.01 so I have it in the 7.01 buffer solution. It's going to tell you to stop when, it, when it's done and you're going to remove it and follow the instruction. The prompting is going to tell you to put it in the 4.01. Now it's stop. You take it out. Usually I rinse it quickly. It's telling me to put it in in the 4.01 so I'll dip it in the 4.01 then you're going to wait for the reading wait for it to stop you're going to be looking at the indicator indicator is going to be blinking all through okay when the indicator stop it's going to tell you to stop if it doesn't tell you to stop once the indicator stop it's okay you are good to go but you have to be patient. It's not something you rush. <coughs> so right now I'm looking at the indicator light. Um, this is how it looks. This is how the indicator light looks. Let me move it a little bit. So that's it's just going to be indicating and once the indicator stop, that's time to stop and you are done. Calibrating, you turn it off, rinse it. Okay, rinse it in, uh, in distilled water. Now, when you turn it back on, you're going to see the f both four and seven. Okay, that's how to tell you that you have calibrated it for pH four and for pH seven. It's very important so as to get accurate reading so pH 4 and 7 if you have the uh, pH uh, meter that can read up to I mean I think some of them has three readings 4 7 10 you follow the same instruction now how do you make sure your pH meter it's uh, when you're done make sure you cover the buffer solution it's very important so they don't get uh, and just cover it also as not to allow the oxidation and maybe I don't know the right word to use it now what else do you have to use the cleaning solution is very important this is the part of the maintenance okay the first part of the maintenance is the calibration to get accurate reading the second part is the cleaning with water when you are done with reading okay you clean the tip with water. Water. I have a link in the description box below for where you can get this pH meter, uh, the the rubber stopper cleanser. As you can see, that's this tip. And to get a buffer solution, there's a link in the description box. So once you are done with this one, just uh, shake it lightly. Then see, here's the cover. The cover that comes with it, right? Now the buff, the cleaning solution. Before you store it, just open open the cover. You can throw it whatever you have in there. If it's dirty, just look through it. If it's dirty, you can clean it. If it's not, just take a little bit of the cleaning solution. Just squeeze a little bit inside it. What that will do is that it's going to keep the reading sensor, okay, of your pH meter is going to keep it clean, okay, throughout the pro uh, the time that you store it inside, so that when you want to take your reading, it's accurate. Most of the time, when this is dirty, it's going to affect the reading that you get. So using the cleaning solution is going to help you eliminate all those uh, mess. So when you want to store it, when you're done using it with your formulation or you're done calibrating, even before you start your formulation, put the, some cleaning solution in there. Put this back, cover it, and make sure you store it upright. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure this is don't store it this way. This is not the right way to store your pH meter. Right, wrong way to store it. Always get your cup, a free cup. Make sure you dedicate it to your pH meter 
store it like that and uh, what i do do also just to keep everything in one place i put my cleaning solution my buffer solution 7.0 and uh, 4.0 buffer so i put everything in here so i know this is dedicated to my ph meter and i move it away so that is how you calibrate you clean and maintain your ph meter with that you can use this ph meter for years as long as you have the buffer solution to uh, do the calibration and as long as you have the cleaning solution to clean the tip that is the best way to make your ph metal last and that's the best way to maintain i hope this video has helped someone out if you have any question about calibrating or you know working with the ph meter feel free to drop in the comment box below also don't forget to look in the description box below for a link and how to adjust whether reduce or increase the ph of your product thanks for watching everyone remember this is a channel for you i release every, every food tip to help you you know make a, a good skincare product and also to help you or to eliminate any error that you might come across so this is what this channel is all about so feel free to click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos thanks for watching